guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to the Hamilton Let's Play. Today we are picking up the story right where we left off last week because we had quite an exciting episode. I was fully planning to do a casual episode and then we found out that Lawrence was angry because he found his spouse flirting. Now obviously Hamilton is his spouse and we all know Hamilton and we know what happens in real life. In history and we know what happened in the musical so there was reason to believe that this was true so I did a vote on it and we voted on whether Hamilton flirted with someone or he fully cheated so the three options was were yes he flirted with someone yes he fully cheated and no it was a misunderstanding and let me just get up the results really quickly before we start, uh, the results ended up being 39% for yes, he flirted with someone, 11% for yes, he fully cheated, and 48% for no, it was a misunderstanding. So pretty much uh, the majority says no, it was a misunderstanding, and then also a really big chunk of people says yes, he flirted with someone. So I think the story is gonna be that Hamilton didn't realized that he was flirting with someone but he was being a little bit flirtatious because that's just the way he talks um so he just kind of like he was just being a little flirtatious even though he didn't realize himself and loris picked up on that and he just got a little bit upset that he was like un unconsciously sub subconsciously subconsciously what's the word i'm looking for i don't know without realizing he was flirting a little bit with someone laura's decided to go out to a bar uh and just hang out with his friends peggy is coming over i invited mulligan i invite invited lafayette and look who shows up obviously i mean how could he not <laughs> It's Mr. Washington. Of course, Washington would show up, even though I did not technically invite him. But you know what? It's fine. I think what Lawrence really just wants to do is drink a little, blow up some steam, and just, you know, have a fun night, talk about it, maybe gossip a little bit, and then just like, okay, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna talk to Hamilton. I think he's gonna be angry because another comment that I got, let's play the game, in the meantime, is about his... Oh, <laughs> Lafayette is not coming over because he's sleeping, but Mulligan is here and Peggy... Oh, no, he is. Okay. I guess he heard the situation from Mulligan. Is like, okay, never mind. I am coming over. Uh, <laughs> apparently he is and Washington is here too. So they're just gonna have a drink and they're gonna probably... No, don't go home. No, j don't you dare. You just got here. Don't do it. Oh, return to the active lot. You're you're on the active lot. What are you doing, Lawrence? Just talk to your friends. Maybe gossip. Tell a joke about vampires. No. Um, bro hug. Definitely do that. Let them just talk and have a good time. Anyway, when Lawrence gets gets home, I think they're gonna have a fight. It's gonna be fine. Like they're gonna resolve it. It's all gonna be fine. They're married, so they're gonna have fights at some point, and it's good drama. But I read a comment that says, also fun fact. When Lawrence was held in Philadelphia, Alex met a British soldier named John Andre, who was captured as a spy. Andre was apparently very attractive, so Hemi wrote to John talking about how attractive Andre was. Lawrence wrote soon after to Hamilton, to Washington, sorry, wrote soon after to Washington, trying to convince Washington to hang Andre. So Johnny Boy did actually have quite the violent, jealous streak. So I think he's not just gonna, you know, let this all be. I think he's gonna just cool off a little bit with the guys and just have a fun time and then probably go home and maybe, you know, be a, be a little bit tipsy and maybe like yell at Hamilton for a bit. I know it's a bit harsh and we don't want lambs, we don't want to see lambs fighting, but also don't sit there alone, go talk to your friends, Lawrence. <laughs> but also he's gonna be angry. So, I don't know, tell a funny story, tell a dramatic story, just do some like fun interactions and just have a good time. Maybe hug him and they can probably console him a little bit. We have Mulligan in the household currently, so we can probably talk to Lawrence a little bit, maybe cheer him up. Uh, he's currently feeling quite happy, so that's good. So when we get home, they're gonna have a little bit of a, a, a little bit of a fight. I'm sorry about it. We're gonna resolve it. That we're gonna make sure that everything is all okay. It's currently 6 a.m., so they've been out here for quite some time. I'm guessing we're gonna have to go home in a second, but it was fun seeing them all together again. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's almost time to go home because it's getting pretty early, actually. That's how long I've been out there. So... 
yeah, I think we're going to wrap up the night. But also, I think Boy, maybe girl. Lawrence is a little bit tipsy. So when he gets home, he might get a little angry. So they had a little bit of a fight, but also their power got shut off because I forgot to pay the bills. Sounds like me. So Lawrence is going to quickly pay the bills and then Hamilton is currently really angry because, you know, Lawrence came home kind of drunk, may have done a couple of shots, um, and now he's yelling at him. So Hamilton is currently really angry, but we're going to make it all okay but first let's make sure that our bills are paid so hamilton wants to do a lot of angry things but he also can apologize so i want him to apologize for being too flirty and then what is gonna happen he didn't like actually flirt but it seemed like he was so he's gonna try to tone it down in the future and maybe not come across as flirty Lawrence is currently passed out. No, he's staying awake a little bit longer just so they can make up. Uh, apparently, the bills aren't paid though because the power is still shut off. So we're kind of we kind of have to deal with that for now. Uh, but as you can see, their friendship and their romance took quite a hit. But I think we'll get it up again in this episode. I don't think that's gonna be as much of a problem as you can see. Their friendship bar is completely almost completely full again do not shout forbidden words i don't care how angry you are you can apologize and then what i think is gonna happen is maybe john hamilton at the moment it keeps changing but i don't want it to be john hamilton it's kind of cute but also you know he's lawrence i call him lawrence it's kind of weird maybe try to calm him down a little bit be like okay i understand don't be angry i'm sorry that i shouted at you also i'm a little bit tipsy you know just casual stuff <laughs> It happens in marriages. You have fights. It happens. Even lambs have fights, even though they're perfect together. Okay. Breathe, Hamilton. Breathe. And hopefully be a little bit more calm and not as angry. And there we go. He's happy again. So the only thing we need to do, and I don't think you guys will mind, is probably one more friendly introdu uh, introduction on introduction friendly interaction and then a bunch of flirting but also can we maybe pay the bills at some point um maybe they can i don't know share secrets hopefully that will uh fix their friendship bar but then also fixing their romance bar is gonna be a priority okay one more friendly thing what do we want to do uh make funny faces sounds like a fun interaction let's do that and then a bunch of romance stuff uh, to get their romance bar up to uh, maybe below a kiss. Oh, so cute. <laughs> below a kiss and then maybe kiss in general. And then probably, I mean, the fastest way to do is to just woohoo. So maybe we're going to do that in a second. Uh, oh, no, peace off to work. Okay, well... Goodbye, Hamilton. We didn't get their Romans bar up again. And Turtle is eating the food. Okay. Yep. I mean, it is Turtle. He kind of does those things. And John is up, up to work, too. He is literally about to pass out <laughs> because he spent the entire night in a bar drinking with his friends. So I'm sure the art he's going to make today is going to be great. <laughs> So a little while back, we also had a vote on whether the Skyler sisters should stop fighting with their dad. And the majority of you guys said, yes, we do want them to stop fighting with their dad. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing today is inviting him over, probably shocking the life out of him that they're living in this tiny home with the three of them. <laughs> Because, you know, they come from a rich family. They're used to living in a really big house. It's probably like, this is where you ended up. What are you doing? <laughs> but it's going to be fine. I want them to just talk it out and be like, okay, I get it. You were dating the butler. I didn't approve. But apparently you, you girls are fine by yourself. You do not need the money to have a good life. Because as you can see, they had, they had quite a good couple of like months living in this home. Anyway, since... Angelica was the like leading person in this fight and the other girls just kind of kind of went along with it um I think she should be the one to reach out I think she's gonna be the bigger person there's they still have got quite a good relationship but they 
they're just not talking. And the only way this is gonna happen is if Philip Skyler finally decides to not like forbid the relationship that Angelica has with Nathan because obviously, you know, it's going pretty well. They're not gonna break up anytime soon, at least in my opinion, they won't. So um, I think he's gonna be like, you know what, I can see, oh, he showed up really quickly. I can see that you you are doing well on your own. I think it's okay that you're dating a butler that maybe does not qualify as the rich man she was trying to get in the musical. Oh, I don't know if that's yeah. because of her father or just because of like so societal standards. But in this Let's Play, it was kind of because um, her father disapproved of the relationship. So that's why they started fighting. I don't, e I don't even know what I clicked like what kind of interaction did I, I was just like randomly clicking stuff talk about cooking and brighten his day anyway i think they're just talking and he's being like okay i see that you're doing well you're not doing great in this home but you're doing well enough oh he's hugging eliza they probably missed each other a lot because he didn't fight with the other girls they just decided to leave too in support of angelica obviously because you know the sisters are really really close um so he they just decided to come with Angelica. Oh, look at the three of them. <laughs> I want a screenshot. I, look at them being all cute and adorable and always hugging each other. Like, constantly hugging each other. It's so adorable. But I think this is kind of the point where they're not actually fighting with their dad anymore. They're not, they are not. They don't have the best relationship. Obviously, it's gonna stick with them. He disapproved of Angelica's relationship, even though it's like a really good, healthy relationship. That's gonna stick somewhere in your mind, but they don't have a bad relationship with him anymore. So he's probably gonna be invited over for birthday parties and stuff like that again. Um, but what I want to vote on today is, should they accept... Oh my god, stop singing, Eliza. <laughs> How can she sing so well in the musical and then sing so badly in The Sims? Oh, she's always singing. Why is she not getting better? I'm sorry, Eliza, but that was not not good. Anyway, uh, what I want to vote on today is whether they should accept financial help from their dad again. Like, should they move into a bigger home because they got financial help from their dad or should they stay in this tiny home i don't know uh you guys tell me in the quotes in the eye in the corner i will put uh, a thing in the eye in the corner right now and pretty much says like stay in the same home upgrade to a medium-sized home or upgrade to a big home and it depends on if they accept help from their father or not or if they just stay living on their own means um, I think they enjoy living on their own means, but I also think their dad might just kind of insist to help them out. And it's getting a little bit crowded in this tiny home. It's very nice of Hamilton to, you know, um, offer his old home to the Skyler sisters and uh, make sure they have a place to live. But they are living in one bedroom. It's literally like a three room tiny home with a kitchen a living room that just about fits in this section and three beds just stuffed into one room. So it's not the biggest home you can possibly imagine. Also, the toilet is broken. Um, no one is going to fix that. So let's just re <laughs> replace it because that's not going to happen. So I think now it's officially all good again. So I'm going to wrap up this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know what you want to see in the next episode. And that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye.